So how much do you really know about Keynote? I'm willing to bet you major dollars that there are a few things I'm going to show you that you have never seen before. Stay tuned. Hi everyone, this is Tim Brown. Welcome back to my Apple Podcast. As I mentioned today, we're going to talk about Keynote. Before I begin though, I just wanted to let you know that you can find me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe below. So today I'm going to talk about Keynote because, wow, there's some things in here that are going to really excite you. Uh, this is Keynote for iOS, by the way. So I have Keynote up on screen right now, and I'm going to just go ahead and open up a presentation that I already set up. And then I'm going to walk you through some features that you're probably already familiar with so that I can ease you into some of the new and exciting things that you may not know about. So I'm going to go ahead and click open this one presentation. This is a presentation I did using Shaped. Shaped is a relatively new feature that Apple introduced that allows you to incorporate a wide variety of shapes and not just the typical basic shapes that you get with a keynote, but also shapes that come with a range of themes. So when you look at Keynote here, you can see here that you can import objects, animals, nature, food, symbols, education, arts, science, people, places, activities, transportation, and work. And you can also change the color and gradient of those as well. Pretty cool addition that Apple added. But you know what? There's some other really cool gems for you to know. So let's go to the next tab over it. And you can see here there are other things that you can do that you can import into your keynote presentation. You can import photos and videos. That's normal, of course. You can import or shoot live video footage from your camera. And I'm going to talk about why that's important in a moment. You can record audio. You can also add an image gallery. Now, image galleries are also pretty new because before you just would import a series of images and then you use animations to go back and forth between the different images. Now you can actually import multiple images inside a single insert, very much like the way, say, iBooks Author works, for those of you who are familiar with that. So this enables you to show, say, 10 images inside a, a single insert or template without even going to another slide, which is really cool. You also have the option to import content from iCloud Drive and your other uh, third third-party services as well, which is pretty, pretty cool. Pretty much what the Files app enables us to do. And of course, you can now draw on top of any given slide. So if you are an artist or you like to actually illustrate your ideas in a meeting or something like that, then this tool will be ideal because you can draw right on top of your slide, making it pretty easy to illustrate in combination with photos, text, and so forth. Okay. Those are some pretty basic features. You probably know all of those, if not most of those. Uh, but you know what? I think I still have some goodies in the bag that I think are going to really surprise you. So let's look at the, I'm going to go to the document setup tab. So when you go to the document setup tab, you're going to see some pretty interesting options. Okay. When you look down below, you can see that you have the option to change themes, which is pretty cool. I mean, that was always there. Uh, and you also have the option to change size. Now this is what is something that you may not know about. Uh, it has been there for a while, but it does open up a lot of possibilities for those of you who didn't realize this before. So you have the standard 4.3, uh, you have the standard 16.9 in the square, and you can go in though and customize the size of your presentation as well. Now here's the really important thing about this. Let's just take, for example, the development of IGTV, which is now using the uh, uh, abnormal format, which may become normal, of 916 rather than 16.9. So it's actually flipping the horizontal format for widescreen. Well, you can set up a keynote presentation using 916. So if you wanted to be able to narrate or film yourself or other people in the 916 mode and, com and combine that with PowerPoint slides, you can do that now. So for example, let's go ahead and go through the motion. I'm going to go ahead and set up the width for 1080 and have the height be 1920. And I'm going to click done. And you're going to see that's going to reformat all of my slides. I'm going to click done. And so now all, every last one of my slides now has been converted to a vertical format. And obviously I would need to go through 
and move my text around and so forth, but you kind of get the idea. You can now set up PowerPoint presentations, or sorry, keynote presentations in a vertical format, specifically a vertical format that can be used with IGTV and or stories. And you know, you're saying to yourself, well, how is that going to matter? Uh, you still can't play a keynote presentation in, on Instagram. Uh, so what are you going to do there? Uh, this is where the new gym comes in. So I'm going to go back up to the dots in the top right corner. And instead of going to document setup, I'm going to go to export. So when you go to export, voila, there is a new menu of options that you may not have heard about, including images. That's right. You can now export images from your keynote and not just a PDF. Uh, this to me in itself is remarkable. Uh, it will export every single image or you can actually choose to uh, select a range of images as well as different file types, small, larger, PNG, TIFFs. Pretty awesome. Okay, that's a gem in itself, right? If you didn't know about that, uh, how about movies? Did you know about that? Well, this is probably, I have never ever heard of this before and this is the reason why I'm so excited about it. I didn't realize you can export movies from Keynote on your iOS device. On my Mac, I do it all the time. Periodically, I always go to Keynote and look to see if this feature is available and lo and behold, I did it today and it was there. Um, and what's really nice is that you can export your keynote presentations as videos. And that includes all of your build elements, your transitions, and any videos you incorporate inside them. So, for example, if I was to record myself using a built-in camera app inside Keynote, I can then add that to my Keynote along with anything else that I wanted to highlight that I was talking about during my presentation, build all of that into a video that I could then export and then post to IGTV or, or any place for that matter. Uh, the, the real good news is that you now have this uh, flexibility. So if you see here you go to export your movie project. You see here you have the option to adjust the resolution. In this case you can go to 720p, 1080p or 4K. So yeah, um, Keynote has completely changed the way we do things right now. And you know what? This is a new era. We're in a new era because now Keynote is now this tool that we can use that comes with all these built-in amazing, incredible animations, um, as well as this integration with all kinds of multimedia, and now it can export to image and video format. This is, this is really exciting news. And for those of you who do not know this or did not know this before, this should pretty much get you pretty excited. So I hope I won the bet. I think I may have won the bet. Because um, this, sure enough, was my first time finding out. And I'm sure there are a lot of you out there that didn't know this as well. So check out Keynote when you get a chance. It's available on your iPad and your iPhone. This is Tim Brown. Thanks for tuning in to this episode. Uh, you know, when I come back, I'm going to actually show some demonstrations of how to do this with an IGTV video, with a presentation all integrated in, and it's going to rock your world. This is Tim Brown. Thanks for tuning in. Check me out next time.